We're here at Kentucky for uh, the 18th race, I believe. Here is the qualifying list for today's race. Got a few new drivers. Well, not really new. Just about two new drivers. Two names I've never heard of. All right. Gentlemen, start your engine. Alright boys, Nathan Rhythm all day today. The department crew chief. Oh, the 14 Brad Johnson stalls up on the start. Day. Not the way you want to start your night at Kentucky. So Tom Gerard making his first start of the season. First start ever in the MMs Cup series. Takes over the pole actually. Good run by him. I mean, good qualifying session, I should say. Greg Bihol, now he'll start second. Third, Jeff James. Fourth, Panda Orioles. Fifth, Cody Swinson. Sixth, Brenda Perkeles. Eighth, I mean, seventh, Fiona Renza. And eighth, Jordan Ipiloto. Ninth, Joseph Curtis and 10th George Roke Supercell winner and I doubt we're gonna go back to that racetrack that nasty ass road course <sighs> hate boring road courses boring races only Watkins Glen is the only road course survivor green flag 3-4-Y already And there they go. Oh, there's actually two drivers who are actually stalled up on the start. And the 11 nearly goes upside down. They're wrecking hard. That's even worse than the nationwide. Jeff James, the leader. Whoa, contact, contact, even more contact. The 15, the pole sitter gets put in the wall. Everyone's scattering all over the place, trying to avoid it. Cautions out for the first time. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, here's a replay. I'm not exactly sure what happened. That 11 car, Joseph Curtis, nearly goes around. Okay, Jason Tross, the second, turns Chris Kyle around. John McNamara was sticking his nose out. Then there goes the 51 around. And wow, one of the BK cars nearly flips the 11. Nearly goes upside down already in like not even the official lap, like point three laps completed, and you already and they were nearly flipping. They're still wrecking around here. That ninth car, heavy heavy damage to the front nose. The eleven major damage. See all the smoke coming out. Christopher Kale also heavy damage. Now I take you back to the restart. All right, here we go again. The eight car did not start the race. Something is wrong with this with this car. Three cars out of the race. Three of them were lapped down. Thirty-five of them remain on the lead lap. Forty-three car for some reason is going down pit road. Green flag. Brad Johnson's actually two laps down. Hoping to get his lap back. Jeff James, one win this season. Looking for another one. Fiona Renza looks to be dropping back with these drivers. Taking the advantage with the 14 car, the draft advantage. And a 42 way up high. He loses way too many spots. Any near any clips, Brad John. Oh, there he goes. Nope, nope, he's nope. Okay, there goes the 39. Oh my god, one car upside down. Oh, in the fence! What the hell? The Daytona all over again. I'm talking about real life Daytona, not my Daytona. Well, caution's out already. Cody Swinson is the leader, actually. Uh, well, let's take a look at the replay of what happened. How can you mess this up? Jeff James is all alone, clear out. Lose completely overshot the corner and then he nearly hits the wall but he comes 
back down, but not to realize Brad Johnson's already there. Clips the Brad Brad Johnson. Both of them go into the wall. Jeff James loses control, slams right into George Rowe, class race winner. Then slams into the 39 car of Jordan and Hippie Luke too. And there's the 51 car. Wow. That thing just goes right into the fence. Hopefully that did not tear up the fence or anything. Well, wait. Let's take a look at that again. It's camera 2. It's a good camera right here. So we already have a flip. Yeah, the 20 car nowhere to go. Runs right into the 42, then 42, then right into the 51. I think this bounces and flies into the fence. And back on the track, and Seth Brown is just pushing him away. Got more drivers wrecking also. Five car going airborne. And there's a whole big mess out here. Knew it was on pit road for some reason. Well, let's take you back to the restart. Oh wait! Trouble for the 48, Fiona Lorenzo. Things blowing up. I don't know what's going on. That car just blew up. Will they get it fixed? Will they... Will they retire from the race? We'll just have to find out when she takes down a pit stall. Goes to her pit stall. Alright. Let's see. So that car is out. Header problem for that 48 car. Now we'll take you back to the restart. Alright, here we go again. Green flag, back out in the air. Alright, Brad Johnson trying to get a lap back. With the 24 right behind with the help. Three wide. But not three wide for the lead though. Oh, bunching up the 24, taking the lead now. New leader. Isn't it great to be back on the oval? So I'm guessing that was our first green flag lap. Here comes the 29 car. And the 33. Gotta slam that brake before you kick over the lead. Everyone's spread out. Well, not exactly. They're, ra they're racing pretty close. Jason Tross is the new leader. Three wide for second. Riley Houston crosses the line in second place with the 27 of Bob Jones. And now we have a caution. Noodles noodling. Might be going around. And what the hell is he doing? Oh, hits the wall. And he does an illegal stop in the pit road. So there will be a penalty coming up. Well, let's take a look at the replay of what happened. Alright, Noodles Noodley for... S oh wait, no, 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 that's not, that wasn't a caution. This was a real... The lights were already on. Okay. Colin Martell in the 21 car just taps Biffle. He goes around. That pretty much ends his day of trying to win the race. Then I don't know what the Noodles... He went, he went around, he, okay. 99 just slams right into him. There he goes. Now we'll take it back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go back to green. Noodles is now lapped down. So he'll join the inside lane group. The other two drivers. We passed halfway. Green flag. Roddy Houston goes through the middle. Trying to get through the middle. Good. For sure, he'll take the lead entering turn one. There he goes. New leader, Roddy Houston. But the 24 car, C. Emerson's right on the bottom. 
Going to make it three wide. For, again. But not three wide for the lead though. But the 29 car is trying to get that lead back. Caution's out again. Huge crash. Sort of. Crossing the line first, the 24 car. Caution's out already. I mean, again. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, Sam Curtis, full head of steam, taps the 39 car. Goes right through the grass. All the way down and c can't lock it down. But, oh wait, no, Sam Curtis, actually. Hard impact. These two drivers collide. They go shift to the left. And then Sam Curtis takes a wicked wick. I mean, lick. And then these drivers going around. They all slammed into each other right there. Heavy impact for the 32 car. The thing's smoking up. Now I take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready to go back to the restart once again. We have. Oh, how many cars we still have? So we got 27 cars? Yeah, I think so. Should be. Green flag! Now Johnson, of course, less than 10 to go. He's not allowed to start on the inside lane. 29 car, back on the bottom, takes over the lead once again. Ben Seabird in third. Try to take that draft advantage from the 14 car, maybe. Try to get that lead. Twenty-nine cars is a nice gap. Thirty-one car Cody Swinson coming up. Teammates, RCR 1-2 right now. Full head of steam with Cody Swinson. Aiden Chung with George Rook right behind on the bottom. Oh, a little contact. Push that one car out of the way, it looks like. Alright, leaders, the teammates are gonna swap positions, looks like. Jason Cross led that lap, though. I don't think the 29 appreciates the 14 racing with them. He's two laps down. The blue and yellow striped flag is... Well, no, it's not really showing. George Roke, last race winner, currently in third. He's gonna try to make it two in a row. Ew. Bad name smell. Someone's cooking rice. Cody Swinson. The leader right now, RC. Now that drag is really gonna slow those. gonna slow them down. Ben Seward trying to battle with Panda Oreos, a little tap maybe, and clear. He go He's all clear. Fourth. Whoa, that was close. Nearly turns the 10 car around. That's the same number and the same sponsor he runs in the Nationwide series. Alright, the 29th finally got clear from the 14. He's gonna see if he can catch back up and take that lead back, take that lead away. Car is gonna do all he can to get back to the front. Four wide. That can't be good. Oh, whoa! Actually, it was okay. You're safe, actually. Ben Seaver got shuffled back there. Three wide. Twenty-nine cars catching just by inches, just a little bit. With only three laps to go, Neil has three laps to catch his teammate and steal the win away. Cody Swinson trying to get his second win of the season. Oh, the 29 and the 36 are in the wall. 
Oh, well, Colin Martell gets a clip. Everyone's going down pit row. Caution is out. Caution is out. That ends the race. Cody Swinson looks to be the winner, but a lot of drivers are going down pit road. Does the 31 car have enough gas? Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, here it is. See that Riley Houston just was way too fast. Gets into the 24 car and both of them slap in the wall. Panda Oreos nowhere to go. Runs right into the back of the 34 car. Then even more drivers coming in. My driver's bunching up. Wow, like two of them hit the wall. It's a 29 car and a 36 car. Oh, shot the corner. And then I pretty much messed him up. Well, let's take, let's take a look if the 31's going to pit or not. Alright, he saved enough gas. He'll take home the victory at Kentucky. Seven car just retired from the race. Checkered flag in the air. Checkers and yellows. Yeah, Cody Swinson will win at Kentucky for the very first time. Now let's take a look at the race results. Here's the official result for tonight's race. Cody Swinson wins. Cody Bailey second. Third Matthew Fuller. Fourth Wesley Rock. Fifth Kyle Thomas. Sixth Emerson. 7, Timothy Needham, 8th, Bob Johnson, 9th, Ash Curtis, and 10th, Ben Siebert. Here's the rest of the race results. Only 41 drivers made, uh, was on track. Ian Siegel could not start the race. Now we'll take you to victory lane. Oh yeah, this team doesn't have the thingy. Alright, here's the point standings after race 18. The C. Emerson still remains in first, 52 points ahead of Colin Martell, who remains in second. Cody Belly up one, Cody Swinson up two, Jeff James down two, Brenda Perkily down two, Jason Tross up three, Ben Siebert up four, Jason Tross is second, down two, Chris Kyle down two, and here's the rest of the point standings.